I just thought about something. So, like, with season three of The Flash, you guys, uh, this video is how to fix the Arrowverse part one. So, you know, part one. With, uh, we'll be discussing problems with The Flash first. That seems to be the more popular show, so that'll be the way to kick off this series, I guess. With The Flash season three, we, um... Learned about Savitar way too late. There, and there wasn't a good spread of information. We knew nothing about, and, and some of the stuff contradicts stuff that we thought we were learning earlier on. Um, like I'm not even talking about the Jay Garrick stuff. They explained that part. They explained that part. People don't seem to think they did, but rewatch that whole season. I don't know when, but they ex they explained that Savitar created the myth. That's they say that those exact terms, not like the exact words, because that's not word for word, but those same terms they use um, somewhere in there. So, you know, they explained that part. How he got to Earth 3 is, is beyond me, though. That That's kind of weird. There's a lot of weird stuff there. Uh, but um, they, they explain that. So it doesn't contradict that. I'm talking about what they contradicts is like, they never explained in season 3 why, or in any season for that matter, why only speedsters could see Savitar at first. Because you remember the fight with uh, Barry and Wally for, uh, and Jay, they're like, well, Barry seems to be getting beat down by nothing. And so Iris is trying to figure out, or not Iris, uh, uh, Killer Frost is trying to figure out what's going on, why Barry's just kind of levitating by his neck. Um, and then she frees a Savitar, and then she can suddenly see Savitar. That, that wasn't a, a problem any other time. And they never explain that. I, I need an explanation. Even something as stupid as like, oh, well, he was vibrating, um, so only like speedsters could see him and stuff unless, until he was frozen. That that part kind of sucked. He was he was frozen, so everyone could see him. No, like they could they could give me something like that. You know, he was vibrating at a certain uh, rate, so that way speedsters would be able to see him when they super process things. Um, even something as stupid as that. That you know, so. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Look at it. Like, I haven't watched the season in a while, but I just remember having these problems when they announced that it was, um, actually Barry in there. I, I had tons of problems with that. I was like, this is so stupid. <laughs> um, I, I loved that. I loved the reveal, but the, them not explaining stuff? Stupid. Stupid. Um, but, uh, when it came down to, like, Uh, season four, we literally learned about DeVoe in the first episode, which, which considering how they set it up in season three, that, that made sense, but we learned too much too fast, and I'm like, hopefully this next episode, like, makes me like the thinker again, because I liked him first, but now I'm, I'm bored of him, he needs to just go, I'm bored of the thinker, I like some of these other characters they're introducing, but the thinker needs to, he needs to not, he needs to go. Um, we need to get this whole thinker thing over with so that way they can have, like, a super secret final boss at the end, I guess. You know, like in, uh, Batman Arkham Knight. Another DC thing that works so well. In Batman Arkham Knight, you, um, you beat the game, and then it, um, it tells you to get all the Riddler trophies and stuff. You get all the Riddler stuff, trophies, and you get to fight Riddler in a mech, if I remember correctly. I haven't actually done that yet. I'm still working on that. But... You know, so like a super secret boss at the end that you're not expecting. I mean, it kind of tell you that that's what's going to happen in the game, but, you know, let's just pretend you're not expecting it. Um, so something like that, you know, that could work. Uh, so they do that, they get Devo out of the way, and I think the next four episodes can be dedicated to the real Big Bad, who is just orchestrating what Devo was doing. But I think that's not what's going to happen, and I would actually kind of... I'd love it, but from a story point of view, I'd, 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 it'd go away, you know? Um, so that's just a... That's, I'm going to sit down. This is probably making you guys dizzy or something. <laughs> um, from a story point of view, this makes... This would... Or, you know, just what's going on with this? Like, season five of The Flash, if that happens, I don't think they've been renewed yet. They, they I'm 100% I'm sure they will be. But, um, I don't think they have yet. So, season five, if that's a thing, um, 
they can have the final big bad, uh, or the big bad of that. Halfway through the season, so like the mid-season finale, halfway through that, um, they can... Uh, they, they start spreading information. You get, like, little, like, you know, stuff that's not important but still sets up the getting information. So, like, maybe the third episode, they start tackling the big bad. Um, and then the third episode, you have, uh... In the third episode, um... It's like, oh, this dude's wearing a red shirt! You know, something not super important. And then you don't give any more information, except for like maybe what he's planning. And then ha in the mid-season finale, like maybe the Flasher Iris has like some huge revelation, and then cut it the cliffhanger. Um, and then in, in the immediate next episode, whenever they come back on, you have like you start giving the information like, oh, it's Godspeed or. Um, it's the Riddler or something like that, you know? I tried to stick with Flash examples, but the Riddler, he just got in here somehow. Um, yeah. So, do something like that, you know? Uh, next time we're going to talk about Arrow, but let's stick to this for a second. You know, you, you give, you spread information out a bit better. You have no information here, a little bit there, none here, and then you just... Boom! All, all of the information over there. That's how you need to do it. You need to start with, like, he's got a red shirt, which actually, instead of he's got a red shirt, you just get, like, an alias or his real name. So, uh, for example, you, you can either say Riddler or, um, Edward Nigma. You know, one of those two there. To be honest, it's probably best to go with Riddler out of that example. Because if you say Edward Nigma, then the Flash is just like, Hoom, gotcha. I, I know your name, so yeah. But if you go with, um... If you go with Riddler, he's like, who? who? Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. But if we go with, uh... So, you know, we'll scrap the red shirt example. That was That was a bad one, my bad. Um, but we just get alias or name, and, you know, then story, you know, like, we build up next time, and then we get all the information towards the end, the second half of it, because we learned about Savitar two episodes before the finale. Was it two episodes? It was two or three. We didn't have a lot of time. It was just either... No information, bam. Or, um, with the thinker's case, all the information, and now I'm bored. Bam. That's, you know, it, it really sucks spreading out information for some reason. My cat thinks it's really weird that I'm talking to myself. Check this out. Oh, now she's asleep. That's, she always does this when I get the camera near her. She must be tired, though. She's, a. Uh... Ooh, she's red lemon pepper. Pet her tummy. Hey, Diva. What's up? You heard cat, and you're like, hey, I want attention. Oh, cat's awake again. It's like, oh, there's a dog. Um. Focus. Uh. So, like. We gotta fix a bunch of these problems they're having. Mostly information problems, in my opinion. There's also some minor storytelling problems. And with season four of The Flash, they were way too joke-heavy. It's like that meme with Teen Titans, where, um, the original show, where it's like, we were way too serious in that one. And now in, like, Teen Titans Go, it's just... Well, it's Teen Titans Go, so figure it out. <laughs> um, it was like that. Oh, hey, another DC example. I didn't even think about that when I was saying that. Um... Wow, that scared the cat. Terrified now. Okay, okay, you're getting hostile, right? I don't know. Um, but, yeah, 
Yeah, you gotta stick with stick with it. You gotta be consistent all the way through. Um, see, when we were learning about the reverse flash, the first few episodes of season one, literally no information given to us except for that Harrison Wells is acting shady. Then around the um, when they introduced Simon Stagg, who I like his character a bit more in the Arkham games, mostly Arkham Knight. I don't know if he's in the other ones. Um, I don't think so. But in Arkham Knight, I like his character because he's got, um, he's, like, shady, but also, like, cowardice, and his execution is just way better in the Arkham games. You, if you disagree, that's cool, but, when, anyways, when they introduced, um, Simon Sag, we get Harrison Wells standing out of his chair, which shouldn't even be possible, and then I think it cuts to black and implies dead um that was you know that that was shocking but it didn't tell us it was a reverse flash do something like that uh of course probably someone was like this is a reverse flash but i don't think so i don't think that they actually confirmed i don't think he used super speed i'm pretty sure he just stood out of his chair in a very shady manner so so yeah um and with what the heck? Don't be scared, sweetie. Why did you come in here if you're scared? It's okay. You can go now if you want. Um. You can kind of see she's scared. She has a little bit of jumping and vibrating. And her shoulders get tense. Um. But you know. Something like that. The, like, they need to go back to their Arrowverse, um, or like season one of the Flash kind of tone. It's a mix of humor, but like not too much. And then you got the seriousness, which actually may have, at times, been a tad too much. I don't know. Um, I I just like the season one tone way better than like season two. They went with this more serious tone, and then in season three, it's just all seriousness. Um, and in season four, it so far has mostly been serious, but a tad too much humor in it. It's like, watching the first episode of season four, that's all humor. There's nothing, no. Nuh-uh, I'm at uh, the second episode. The second one is way worse. Season, the first episode is actually all serious, but like a, a tad silly at the end. Um, now you're gonna go sit next to the cat. You keep yawning, buddy. You should just go back to sleep. That's the cat yawning. It, it looks so evil when it yawns. I love it. Oh, you want me to pet your tummy? Okay, wait, I thought you wanted me to pet your tummy. I'm getting confused mixed signals. Stop biting me. I will wreck your world, cat. <sighs> okay. Um. But, yeah. I guess that concludes this episode. The next episode, we will be talking about Arrow. I don't really know how you could fix it. I kind of like what they're doing with it, but... I'll find something to complain about and then fix. There, It's constructive criticism so far. I'm not just going to be like, Oh, you suck. Goodbye. That's not very constructive. Um, and also, it doesn't suck so far. I'm loving it. Other people are not, but I'm, I, I certainly am. Um, and yet, uh, this is only going to have stuff that is confirmed to be part of the Arrowverse in this series. So there's not going to be Black Lightning, even though I'm pretty sure it's still part of that same universe. It's not going to have um, Gotham, even though I want it to be in that universe. It's also not going to have uh, Titans, because we don't have any confirmation yet. Uh... And I don't know if I'm going to do the animated stuff. That's all a part of the Arrowverse. Uh, I can't really talk about Constantine too much. I guess I can just re watch that series and then say how we can have a good opinion about it. But um, let me know what you want me to talk about next in this series. Um, obviously, next time is Arrowverse, but... Um, Arrow. Yeah. Let me know uh, what else I can do. Because there's probably a lot more stuff 
Um, I'd love to talk about um, Smallville, but also not a part of the Arrowverse, and that series is actually over. I feel like Constantine City of Demons is going to be, um, I think that's what it's called. I think that's supposed to be like a continuation of Constantine. I know it's like the same character in the same universe, but is it supposed to be a continuation or more of a spinoff? I don't... I'll have to watch the series. I haven't done that yet. Oh, and Freedom Fighters The Ray, if they ever make more episodes for that. Um, I'll be, I'll, you know, yeah, we'll do the animated stuff. We'll, we'll see that. Um, uh, and if they have some sort of weird Scooby-Doo crossover with The Flash again, well, I meant weird crossover, not necessarily with The Flash. They had Scooby Natural, for instance. If they do another Scooby-Doo crossover, but this time part of the Arrowverse, I'll definitely check that out. And then I can do something stupid like How to Fix the Arrowverse, Scooby-Doo Edition. This will be How to Fix the Arrowverse, Flash Edition, I guess. Or just maybe Part 1. I don't know, we'll figure this out. Um... Yeah, but, you know, uh, I think the third episode, we'll let you guys, I'll, I'll take suggestions, uh, but I think the third episode's gonna be Legends. I know for a fact, second episode, Arrow, but third episode may be Legends, unless you guys don't want that. Legends has a lot of problems, um, no one's supposed to be addressing, and it, but they really bother me. I don't know why. Um... I like the latest episode, though. They had uh, Damien Dark team up with the Legends for a little bit. And then he betrayed them. And then Sarah literally stabbed him in the back. So, um... That's actually a line from that episode. So, uh... M mostly. But, you know. Um... So, yeah. See you next time on How to Fix the Arrowverse Part 2. Arrow.